is green Falco. Not hard green, but like a little soft green. Still got a bit of like the white jacket. But he's got the green cuffs, so that's what's up. All right. Opening on stadium. Uh, yeah, okay, so I think they might be inverse. Uh, player one, player two, generally they have to switch. That's whatever besides the point. We know that Link is Noggin Man and that uh, Fanless Hero is Falco. Noggin Man playing is fairly slow, fairly safe, you know. There's a raw upbeat. Shooting these arrows, but you gotta remember Falco does have a reflector, so if you commit to the arrow, unlike, you know, Fox's or a Wolf's reflector, you know, it's not always active. You do have to time for when the arrow releases, but otherwise, he would still be charging a full arrow into a reflector, which is not something you do, even if it isn't going to kill these percents. And again, with the reflector, Dogman just kind of swinging right now, hoping a Fanless Hero falls into his sword. Falco is kind of on the lighter side, so if he does get caught by like a raw up smash, F smash, he might just kill him. It's the bomb, but Invuln on the getup attack is going to take him out of it. Fanless Hero forced high, he's going to air dodge his way back to the stage. And there's the down tilt, but it's not going to be enough to kill. And instead, falling up air is going to do him out. All right, caught him with the four glory. Ran up at him, waited for him to roll the other way, and just released an F smash. Taking the stock at 150. Okay, both these. Ooh, okay, just. Yeah, so Malgame kind of like overshot the mark. If you if he's caught on a tech situation on the platform and he misses the tech, you know you can just very easily cover it all with like neutral air or just wait underneath and react. But he kind of overshot it all together. Trading damage, but Fanless actually on the losing side due to his uh, lighter weight. Ooh, he takes the jump, he should be able to make it, but he actually saves him there with the... Okay, well, still got the kill, but had Noggin Man not uh, air dodged there after the down tilt, he might have been able to make it back potentially if he just fast fell and then upbeat again to the ledge. Since Fanless Hero hasn't really been running off stage to uh, catch Noggin Man. Alright, so Falco off stage, but Noggin not really punishing. It seems like Fanless is just looking for an option out of uh, Link. And there's the upbeat. He's going to take him out. 94% to zero. Still relatively doable. You know, Fal uh, Link has some... Uh, he's just upbeating again. That should be the F smash and he's going to be dead. One thing I wish for Nagi Man not to burn his recovery so fast. Because it's not like he's getting spiked or anything. He's getting hit by Falco Laser. Which just kind of, you know, stops you, drops you a bit. But you can act out fairly fast. But, you know, every time he's immediately gone for the jump or the up high, and he's been getting punished very uh, bad for it. Going through the bands. Most probably, I'm not sure. Again, he seems to be a newer player, so I'm not sure what his uh, stage habits are. So we'll just have to wait and see as we go into the uh, stage pick. Why is fanless? Unless, unless, unless the tags are backwards. Okay. He's on his phone. He's out here tweeting up a storm. Or shooting the text, you know. Let your loved ones know that you're still alive, that you're in a tournament, that's why you're not responding. Noggin Man gonna go back to the link. Getting his red link. Oh, he's switching it up. I don't know what. I don't know what color scheme that is, or what that's inspired by, actually. That's a cool shield, too. He's white with the pink lettering. It's interesting to look at. All right, you can't laser that shield, but Nagi Man coming in strong, just raw down air. All right, Fanless Hero. Again, he's coming with these lasers. He needs to close the gap because otherwise he's just kind of eating damage right now and it's showing. You know, Nagi Man playing much closer, but that down throw up smash isn't really a thing anymore. Throws out the raw reflector. Trading the bomb back and forth. He's going to make it back, but he, lose, he gets caught out of his jump. And again, he's like up being at very awkward distances. Then why would you down tilt? Oh, you get the down air. I guess you get the stock, which is like... It works. But it's like, if you didn't... If you got, like, the sour spike, then, like, you would have, like, missed out on your kill. Just take, like, the raw F smash. Especially if he's falling like that. 
Okay, so Fanless Hero with a solid lead. Chasing him up into the air. There's the up smash, but he's time in the city. Oh, he's going to jump into the down air. He's not going to get spiked by it because it is the la uh, later hit. He's just going to die off the top. And he's going to respond in kind with back air. Right, once again, two stocks to one. Fanless with a strong lead. And then kind of playing straight hit. We we'll finally gets one up tilt, two up airs, not gonna get the third. Uh, Noggin's gonna sneak in that down air and be able to land. All right, so here's the bomb, but he hits himself with that one. He's going high. All right, Fanless might be, okay, so he misses the uh, spike, but he's still keeping the combo going. Sour down air. He's looking for the spike. He's looking so hard. There's the up smash, air dodging right into it. He's gonna die off the top. 2-0, two fanless. Dragon Man, hang loose. I don't think he's aware that the set is over. They should know that the set is over, right? Okay, yeah, he's unplugging. You know, 2-0 going to fanless. Uh, I mean, once again, it feels kind of like the last stream, uh, last match we had on where like, one player kind of had like their game plan more solidified than the other, so. But again, newer faces, it happens a lot, so we'll just have to see.